Start strong, finish strong. Wolf is always scratching. Let's roll. Up at 3.45 a.m., cardio by 4.45 a.m., hitting the iron by 6.15 a.m., in my pickup truck by 7.15 a.m., heading to work, ready to get after it, ready to shoot. There's no substitute for hard work. I'm gonna make something out of myself, but it's gonna be so good, it's bad. There is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more, but I personally don't wanna lose all that I've been able to get. So I need to make sure that I do everything to keep it. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see by today's title, we are manifesting and living our best life. As you could see, I showed two really motivational quotes of The Rock and Kevin Hart really manifesting their best life. And today I'm here to show you on how you can manifest yours to the perfect life as well too. If this is something that you're interested in, stay tuned and stick around. The first thing into creating a vision board is the most important thing is you're gonna wanna have positive, amazing energy. There's no reason to make a vision board if you are feeling down in the slums. You're not gonna really feel as motivated to put your best foot forward, but having a great attitude and a great mindset is really gonna have all your goals and everything that you want to achieve right in front of you. It is ask yourself, what do you really want? By you creating this vision board, you are determining what you want to manifest and what you want to unfold, whether that be a new car, a new house, or simply just a promotion from your job, you're gonna go ahead and put together elements that are going to help you see this visually. Step two, we're gonna go ahead and get our images. Now by getting our images, you can do this one of two ways. I suggest Google because if you're specific in to a car that you may want, for me example, I want a G-Wagon and maybe I want the 2020 edition, then these are specific goals that you are now putting in your mind. If you don't really wanna go that route, you can go ahead and use magazines or any types of art that are going to still depict the same image. You're then gonna wanna have any other fun things that you do wanna put on there. So of course, so that can be glitter, can be different colors of paper, markers, any type of added element that's gonna make it visually appealing. By looking at your vision board every day, you re-trigger a process that the more that you can see and think about what you want, the more your brain becomes aware of these opportunities to then further achieve them. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you that if you follow these techniques and that you are consistent with these, it will help you for success. So I know you're probably thinking like, Sarita, why are you telling me all this stuff? What do you have? Why should I even listen to you? Well, I don't have the most in the world and I'm still trying to achieve my goals. But so far for the past five years, I have made vision boards in which all of them have came true. So I did wanna share with you, I do also like to write out my thoughts every single day. And as you can see, this planner is from 2018. And here's when I was really trying to find a house. Back in 2018, I was trying to purchase a home. Uh, at the time, I was still living with my parents. And I didn't even have credit. Yes, I did not have credit. I, I didn't even have a credit card. But now to fast forward. <laughs> Now to fast forward now in 2020 and now being a homeowner, I manifested those and by me visually visualizing it and me writing these down, it helps me get to my goal. so much for watching i hope that these tips really helped you let me know down below if you decide to make a vision board or what your visions are that you see for 2020 and without further ado i'll see you guys later oh my god i broke a nail i broke a nail no <laughs> i need to see blue that back on for real he got me shook up shook down shook